Hurricane Danny doesn't look like it's going to be a big problem for us. It's the first named storm to even remotely eye U.S. landfall this season. As News 5's Chad Petrie reports, this Danny is a good reminder to get ready for something worse. Right now, Danny is far away, a storm system with no big aspirations. But the name Danny still holds scary memories for Mobile. Back in 1997, Hurricane Danny lingered in Mobile, causing damage and dropping a lot of rain. Danny sat pretty much in Mobile Bay uh, for a while and, and dumped copious amounts of rain. And I think that's, the, like you said, the, that's the one hallmark people always will associate with the name Danny. During last year's historic floods, it was the most commonly cited storm when talking to flood victims. This is the worst one we've ever had. It's worse than Danny. While the name's familiar, the storm of 2015 is far different. It's on track to lose a lot of steam soon. Still, Forecasters at the National Weather Service say this Danny can put hurricane prep back on everyone's radar. It just kind of heightens everyone's awareness and serves as a reminder that we should be prepared uh, in case a storm moves into the Gulf and affects our area. My morning show colleague Melissa Constanza is also watching the storm. Relax and again keep an eye on things out there. We'll be constantly watching them but right now nothing to do at this point. And while this Danny deteriorates, 1997's Danny is the one by which all other big rainstorms are measured. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, News 5.